beginning of week four day one and we're gonna start our week with a weigh-in zero expectations don't really care feeling good this morning my body's a little bit sore we took a two-hour walk yesterday but that's okay so let's just start with the weigh-in and see what happens pretty exciting. I'm really proud of that. I mean, I think that's really great. I feel like I've been making a lot of good progress and it hasn't been reflecting on the scale and it is like the fourth week and I think finally it's caught up with me. Yay for progress. And you can see these bags under my eyes. I got like zero sleep last night. The baby would not sleep, which is actually what I want to talk about um, this week. Last week, my goals were staying positive and staying hydrated. And this week, my goal is to really create a routine. <sighs> I'm going to jot down like a tentative weekly structure and see if I can stick to it. And the other goal that I have for this week is really getting to bed earlier. I wanna to try to get more sleep. I know with a newborn baby, it's like goals, but the baby gets up at 5.45, 6 a.m. on the dot every day. So I need to be going to bed earlier. And obviously this is a stacking journey. So all my rules from the previous weeks apply. So we're sticking with the motivation, positivity, hydration, and we're just gonna add in more of a structure of working out and going to bed early. I waited till way late in the afternoon to do this workout. I was putting it off all day. I really don't wanna do this workout, but I'm gonna push myself and make myself do it. So here we go, begrudgingly. morning day two I went to bed last night at 8 30 you guys this is the ticket I feel so good today so ready to work out I mean it's like 6 a.m. so I'm not going to yet but you know what I mean like I'm looking forward to it and I know I'm gonna kill it so yay for me for going to bed early and getting all this sleep and the baby is still sleeping it's just all around goodness it's all about early bedtime Hashtag quarantine. It's noon. I'm gonna do an upper body workout. I've done plenty of chores throughout the day earlier today, and I'm ready to get my workout done. So let's jump in and do it. <laughs> That was really hard. I feel like I said that about every workout. So I think I was playing with a little bit of mind games with myself during that workout. During like the push-ups and some of the exercises, I was getting so tired and I was thinking like, God, I am not getting any stronger. I am not getting in any better shape. These workouts, they're not getting any easier. They're just, that's a misconception because you know what? 
while the exercises themselves um, are still difficult, I'm able to do more sets. In the beginning, when I first started these workouts, I was only doing three sets in seven minutes, and now I'm doing four sets. I am getting better, but I also know that this workout is a progressive workout, meaning week by week, the exercises are supposed to get harder. Plus. If you're doing a workout and it's not hard, then you're not challenging yourself. Means that I am getting stronger and the workouts are getting harder and I'm right where I should be. Wednesday, day three. I went to bed at nine last night, so sticking to my goals here for this week. I'm waking up today very sore. I'm still tired. <sighs> 6 a.m., but I think that today I'm going to do a recovery day. It's kind of giving my muscles a break today. I think I need a, like kind of a mini rest day. Maybe I'll change my mind, who knows. Morning, day four. Yesterday I had one of those days where I just felt like I like could not snap out of it. My body was so just like cramped up and tired. The program says to only do two circuit exercises a week and two days of cardio and I've been doing four circuit exercises plus yoga and the cardio. So I've been doing kind of double what she's been asking and pushing myself really hard. I think that I just hit a wall yesterday and I never even did stretches. I just listened to my body. I just needed to kind of relax, so that's what I did. You can see it's not even really light out. It's not even 6 a.m. yet. Um, I feel really rested. My body doesn't feel cramped at all. I feel really good. I might do some yoga this morning. I'm just gonna play by ear. I'm gonna make some coffee and, and see how I feel. I think a really important part of weight loss journey, which is something I've never done in the past, is to listen to my body and to be patient. Usually I'm like, I need to lose 20 pounds by this day. And, and I do these extreme diets and I push myself so hard and it's not sustainable. I really want to lose this weight, but I want it to stay off. I want to get into a flow. And again, my whole goal for the week is to find a routine and find a flow that I don't feel like I'm forcing it. If you're really, really sore one day and you force yourself to work out, maybe the next three days you may not be able to do anything. But if you would just take that day of rest, the next day you're gonna be great. And that's how I feel today. I feel great. Like not mad at myself for taking a rest day. I think it's so important. Slow down. It's a long process. Pushing yourself to do one extra day isn't really gonna make a difference. We're not, doing a 12 week prep for some bikini competition. We're losing weight after having a baby and it's a lot of weight. So let's get with the program here. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna do some yoga. It's a really beautiful day, but the baby's sleeping. So I'm gonna squeeze it in right now while she is um, and hopefully go on a walk later. yoga and I noticed that I was pretty stiff so I just went straight into doing the recovery stretches I did upper body and then I did a lower body and you can see it's just foam rolling and really deep stretching as the week progresses I always make observations just about like the weight loss journey and notice this week that a big discipline for me is being really patient it's been a common theme through my commentary every day so far being patient and being kind to yourself you just you can't rush the process and you can't beat yourself up you cannot be your own worst enemy you need to be your biggest fan imagine what you would say to your little child if they were trying something, if they didn't do something one day, you'd be like, oh, it's okay, you'll do better next time, you'll do better tomorrow. You need to talk like that to yourself because if you don't, you're just, you're hurting yourself. You can't be hard on yourself and you can't be mean to yourself because that's not going to help you. You need to be stoked for yourself and just be really happy with what you were able to do. Try your hardest and that needs Enough. because once you get hard on yourself then you're gonna start to get discouraged so it's just a slippery slope and you got to stay away from that kind of attitude 
in the past I've just been like oh god I fucked up my diet I like and get so mad at yourself and then you you punish yourself you know which is unnecessary and it's just it's just not gonna help you know if anything it's just it makes you go backwards because it's all about positivity and it's all about being in the game mentally you have to be patient and kind and it's a really great practice for me I think it's really easy for us to be hard on ourselves anyone with body dysmorphia or insecurities just that exercise of being kind and patient with yourself and with your process is gonna work wonders it's still day four it's still Thursday Riley and I went on a walk did our quarantine walk up and down the street for 35 minutes and I tried to wear like a really skimpy tank top so that I could get a tan because low-key I have another goal of getting like a juicy tan I would like to be more dedicated and to like lay out in my backyard but I have a baby and that's not really possible anyway day four success day five Friday uh, feeling really good my husband and I have been cleaning all morning so I'm feeling very like warm and kind of were you a little bit sweaty and good and uh, so what Ellie and I are gonna do is we're gonna walk up and down the street and do a little more warming up cardio and then we're gonna do some uh, foam rolling and then hop right into a full body workout super gorgeous today lucky we live in Hawaii okay so we finished our walk we did about 35 minutes feeling really nice and sweaty already we're gonna head into the carport sorry I'm spinning a lot we're gonna head into the carport and do the rest of the full body workout It was really nice. I had a fan on me the whole time, so I wasn't like dripping sweat. It was like kind of drying me, but I was really, push-ups are really hard. I'm still doing them on my knees, and like I'm able to do all 10 of them, but it's like hard, <laughs> like <laughs> grunt, grunting <laughs> through the push-ups. Good stuff. I don't feel like pooped right now. My arms feel like jello, but like sometimes I've done workouts where I'm like okay I need to like sit down and I can't do anything else for the rest of the day I still feel really good so that to me means like fitness is happening so day six everybody it's actually like the afternoon I didn't do any like crazy workouts today I took it easy I did go on a 90 minute walk with my husband and Ben and baby and we did some low intensity cardio I got some good sleep I'm gonna do my leg day tomorrow finish off the week strong I'm feeling really good I'm just feeling all around better and I'm getting a little bit of a tan so really can't complain <laughs> Day seven, last day of the week. I'm gonna finish the week off with a leg workout. Feel pretty good about doing this one today. The only problem I have with this workout is that it wants me to do a crab walk with resistance bands. And I haven't gotten my resistance bands in the mail yet, so I'm gonna substitute it for a donkey kickback. Always feel free to make substitutions, whatever works for you. I also should make modifications if you have any injuries. So modify as needed, very important. Again, listen to your body. Okay, legs, here we go. last workout of the week and uh, that was really overall really good week I did five resistance workouts I did like four days of cardio I did tons of stretching and yoga I really went above and beyond this week and I think why I was able to do that was because I allowed myself to rest when I needed it and that's one of my biggest takeaways from this week going to bed early taking a rest day or a break to recognize that line between being lazy and being sore and respect it be kind to yourself be patient get lots of rest drink lots of water this is the end of week four that's my first month I feel so 
so good today. That workout did not feel like it dragged on at all. I thought it went by super fast. I'm like, I'm sweaty and, but my legs are definitely getting stronger. My push-ups still suck, but I'm really proud of myself. And um, I'm super stoked to continue this journey. That being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the week. Thanks for sticking with me and stay tuned for next week. I'll have my, my one month results and my measurements and stuff. So I'm really excited to see like overall weight loss. I'm gonna do a side by side before and after of one month with my weight and inches all in a little chart so you can kind of see the progress which I think will be really fun. So stay tuned and I'll see you uh, next week. Bye.